Hi, today we're going to replicate a science experiment. What I have here are two beakers of water. Well, hold on, contain your excitement. Because we're going to make the water levitate. So in order to make the water bridge experiment, we need an electric field in excess of 15,000 volts. Luckily, I have with me a 40 kilovolt boost converter. Without going into too much detail, how these work is they have a bunch of voltage doublers inside of them. So it keeps doubling the voltage until you have an output somewhere in the kilovolts range, or potentially higher. These boost converters usually like to have an input around 6 volts. So I'm going to use a lantern battery for that. The only other thing on our shopping list is water. Pure water, which means it can't have any minerals or ions dissolved in it. Which is appropriately named deionized water. I filled two 800 milliliter beakers with the deionized water, and I put their pouring part, uh, what's that called? It's, uh, no, it's not a, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's the, it's this part. So I just did some research, apparently they're called spouts. Anyway, you want to make sure that those are touching so that the water can rest between the two beakers. 2,000 years ago, Jesus walked on water, and now, 2,000 years later, we're gonna make water walk on air. Look, when it's too far apart, the water molecules fly over to the negative plate. This is pretty dang cool. This water bridge is extremely unstable and it can be knocked down by even the slightest disturbance. Ow! Now, this is a neat trick, but why does it work? Let's remember all of our most favorite subject, chemistry. Water itself is a non-conductor. Only the ions, like salt or metal, cause tap water to conduct, which DI water has none of. This also makes it unsafe to drink. I don't know if I already mentioned that or not. Nevertheless, it can still be charged so when a strong electric field is present, the water molecules line up and attract each other like magnets, an attraction known as hydrogen bonding. No, it's not just you, that's a really sucky name. So imagine you were making a long string of magnets. Once it gets too long, the attraction isn't enough to hold up its own weight, so it falls. Only the water molecules are being held together electrically, not magnetically and the maximum length it can go is about an inch before it collapses under its own weight. Huh, turns out there's no name for this. So I henceforth decree that it shall be called Dayton's Ratio, the length that water can be suspended due to hydrogen bonding and support its own weight. That's mine now. Everybody start calling it that. Well, there you go, water can actually levitate and it turns out to be pretty easy. Now you can impress your friends, your family, people on the internet, I, I, I don't know, I just think it's cool. So we've reached that part in every video where I say, and as always, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. I didn't know where else to put this in the video. All I'm gonna say is, be careful around high voltage. 
I don't think this clip will need any further explanation. There. I hope you enjoyed it. I. That's the end of the video. Bye.